Greetings everyone and welcome back to Terraria, where today, first of all, as always, I'm just gonna get my buffs. Uh, but we have a pirate invasion on our hands, so we'll be doing that one. But uh, before I get to that, I was told of something that uh, got my interest in the comments. Apparently, if I get enough gravestones together, so let's start looking through my chests because I know I have plenty of them. And place them around the dryad. She apparently starts selling some sort of red seeds. And I was told to make a sky island out of dirt and plant them there. Which sounds somewhat interesting, so I wanna do that. Of course, I need to get some tombstones. <clears throat> I mean, I had plenty of them. Unless I ended up throwing them away? Hmm. I don't think I did. I mean, I did some of them, but surely I have more. Maybe down here. Let's see. So, we have the blades here, but I see no gravestones. Right, perhaps in the other chest. No gravestones here either. Are they? Maybe they are above. I suppose it's possible. Okay, there we go. We got one. Any others? There we go, we got the second one, perfect. I'm not too sure how many I need, there we go. I got three more over here, and another one. Okay, how about this chest? Do we have any tombstones? It does not appear to be the case, okay, so I just need to check my chests up here. Make sure I don't have any more, and then I'll have to figure out a place to Put all of the tombstones. I suppose it uh, has to do with me creating that uh, graveyard biome I was told during the Martian invasion episode when uh, we had a bunch of uh, tombstones because they repeatedly died to the Martian invasion. Okay, I don't see any here. Although I think... I'm not sure if I got the biome completely back then because the, the screen was looking a bit off. But, uh, yeah, I think I did not actually get the proper biome out of it, and that was like three or four tombstones. So I'm assuming I need a bunch of them. Maybe they are craftable, to be honest. Not too sure. Oh, this angel statue, by the way, I was supposed to try throwing this in the shimmer. I guess I'll keep it on Chester for whenever I go back there. I mean, let's be honest, I will forget for sure, but... Okay, let's uh, place the tombstones we have currently and see if that's enough. So we have this one. Okay. This one. Chester, please move. There we go. Get this one. And this one. And okay, I don't really have any more space on top, so let's start placing them down here. There we go. Place the obelisk, and yeah, there we go, we're starting to get that grey... Uh, starting to... Oh! There we go! Enter a ghastly graveyard filled with the surely dead. I guess that's uh, that's the biome then. Hope nothing bad happens here. Uh, okay, so are you selling red seeds? Crimson seeds. Okay. Interesting. I guess I'll buy like... 30. And... Uh, let me remove this biome before something bad happens. <clears throat> there we go. What is this? It's just a bird. And oh, there is a ghost down there. Okay. So that's what happens. Okay then, uh, let me put those tombstones back down there in case I need them again. Grab some dirt. And uh, we will make that island, and I suppose I'll have to give it some time to do its thing. Since it's seeds, and in the meantime, I can go and deal with those pirates. So, oh, forgot I threw some garbage down here. There we go. So, get some dirt. I think the, <clears throat> the place I want to build the sky island is probably near another sky, sky island. It would make uh, sense. Instead of me having to build up 
for a very long time. I can just use an existing island. Now, of course, that means Chester. We need one of these. Let me just pop it. And which Sky Island should we choose? I mean, this one is already over corruption, so if something goes wrong, uh, we should be fine. I should also get my summons out. I just realized I don't have them. There you go. Should be it. And I think I picked that up from here. Also, I haven't locked these. So let me do that before I end up throwing them away accidentally. And we're gonna head straight to the island. Not this one, the next one. Hopefully I might get a wyvern there as well, which is something I need for that overboard, those souls of light. The overboard does sound quite useful. We're almost at the island. And I guess let's build up from here or something. Get me my dirt. Press control. What the hell was that? What did I do? Not too sure. Anyway, uh, let's go. Oh. Start building. And I suppose I need to disconnect it. There we go. Need to disconnect it after a bit so the island is alone. There we go. And I think that should be disconnected now, right? Maybe just a little bit more. Oh, what's stuck in me? Probably harpies. Okay, so I think this should be good enough. Let's start placing. And I guess we want to give it a little bit of depth to the island instead of just a one block thing. Let's do something like this. Oh, god damn it. The harpies are trying to sabotage me. I mean. I'm wondering how big I want to make it, because I think like 3 or 4 depth should be fine. So maybe, come on man, just let me build. I need that uh, builder trinket I saw last time. Let's do something like this maybe. Just expand it a bit. And okay, this is not gonna work with my speed. I just have to keep pressing the movement button. Go, something like this. This is already above 300 blocks, I think. So I'm assuming it should be good enough. And then I guess we just plant the seeds, see what happens. Okay, come on, stop doing this, stupid carpies. By the way, a lot of people <laughs> told me in the comments that uh, you don't actually lose your items on that uh, on expert mode or uh, whatever it was it was actually a different setting for the items it's like a medium core character so that definitely makes uh, expert mode more attractive so maybe i will end up doing that for now let's see what these seeds do uh, it makes some sort of grass oh come on man what the hell happened? Uh, is, is everything alright? Am I still recording? Well, that was weird. My whole screen went black for a second. Maybe my video card messed up or something. I'm not too sure. Either that or Windows was updating something. It happens often. Okay, so I guess this is some sort of a new biome. Interesting. Maybe it has to spread a bit more, so... We'll just let it do its thing, and uh, let's go and fight the pirates, which I assume has to happen at the beach. Now, did I collect... Yeah, I did, so I need to get them again. Actually, I guess let's uh, give it a try over here. Maybe the pirate invasion will happen, uh, since the boss arena is nicely set up here. Now that, of course, means I'm risking wasting some potions, but that's fine. 
And pirate one. Okay, nice. Uh, it does work here. So, pirates are approaching from the west. Oh, it's that kind of invasion. They're gonna attack my... They're gonna attack my town. Okay. I see. Well, in that case, let me equip my Charm of Mitts. So I can heal more. And we just have to figure out... What is going on? Uh, it's like no one is here yet. Huh. They maybe like spawn all the way at the beach or something. And that's why they're not here. Do I have the, the magic conch? They're not here. Nope. Pirates have arrived. Maybe in my house. Oh, yeah. I hear something. There they are. Okay. So far doesn't look too bad. But of course, I do have my glorious morning star. So, surely nothing could be too difficult. Let's stop these guys around. Let's make sure they don't terrorize my NPCs. There we go. Nice. Okay. I wonder if these guys, do they like steal things? Because I see them wearing like sacks on their back. Do they maybe go through my chests and steal things? Although I assume if that was the case, they would drop that stuff after I killed them. So, oh, this guy is actually tougher. Not too tough though, since I have my whip. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage. I'll just pop a... Kill potion. Oh, it's not the perfect time for a phone call. Okay, that's dealt with. Uh, let's continue the invasion. So far, it seems simple. Not too sure if any sort of a boss to show. They're very persistent at attacking my NPCs, though. I gotta give him that. Oh, Kevin is actually badly hurt. Okay, this side seems fine. Stay away from Kevin. You bastards. Okay. We have a lot more coming from this side. Okay, we're at 60%. And I got a banner. I thought it was something different, but... Just a banner for killing a bunch of them. Which I'm not complaining, of course. It's a... Let me close some of these doors. Do we have any more pirates? Come on. Stop hiding. What is going on with this part? Going crazy. Okay, we have another captain. So let's... Oh, there... Oh, what is this? The flying Duckman. Not looking very great, I gotta say. Oh, oh, oh. And... There, go the... there goes the flying Duckman. Not too sure what I got. Oh. oh, we have another flying Dutchman. Where is it? Give it to me. Seems like we're getting something different to happen. I'm not seeing where the flying Dutchman is. Get on the... Oh, no, the... There it is. Okay. Let me get out! No, oh, the flying Dutchman will leave. Okay, we got it. And I think that's everything. Okay, let's see what I got. I got something golden here. A golden dresser. The Dutchman. And just a bunch of money by the looks of it. Okay. Fair enough. Let's uh, make sure to close all the doors. So my NPCs don't end up dying. And okay, close these. NPCs are a bit in the way though. There we go. Close this door. Wish there was a button to just close all the doors after an invasion. There we go. And the final two. Okay, so we did the, the pirate invasion. Oh, something else over here. Nothing over there, right? Just money. Good amount of money, but still. Okay, let's uh, look through our loot. 
Oh, there is something else here as well. A golden bathtub. Seems like we just got a bunch of golden furniture from them. Yeah, golden lantern, golden bathtub. The Dutchman that is equipable. Not too sure what this does. Golden dresser, a coin gun. Uses coins for ammo. Higher valued coins do more damage. So you're telling me this thing might accidentally use my platinum? I... I'm not too sure about this. Uh, okay, that looked... That looked kind of like platinum. I, I don't feel comfortable using this gun. Okay, we'll just uh, let it slide for now. It was probably silver, but uh, why risk it? Okay, we got uh, an Agile Cutlass. Okay, it's not a material for anything, but let's see how it goes. Uh, I mean, it's quite fast, but a very short range. So probably not very useful. Then what else? A golden workbench. Okay, a lamp, candle, and some like a candle bra. Golden sink. Okay, so seems like we just got... Oh, it's a candelabra. Okay, yeah, I forgot how to say this word. Anyway, uh, I will store my excess golden furniture down here in the chest. And then I think what I'm going to do is first of all go and check back on that island. See if anything has changed. What is this actually? I did not test it. Let's leave all of this behind the hillstone. Banners, feathers, lamps, cutlass, coin gun. And I think that should be all. So, let's see what this thing does. The Dutchman. Where do I equip? Oh, it's a, it's a pet. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'll just leave it behind then. Chester is just too good to replace. So, let's go and have a look at that island. By the way, let me do a checkup. We have no corruption here, right? Okay, looks like I got it pretty well. Down here doesn't seem like there is any either. Very nice. How is this holding up? Okay, not too sure if it can jump between these, but down here it seems pretty good. That's nice. How about over here? Okay, it seems like we are having some spread. So I might have to do some maintenance on that thing, but overall does not seem too bad. Seems like the corruption is mostly at bay. I of course need to clear out this part here as well. As you can see it's starting to show up. So yeah, still have some work doing, uh, some work to do uh, with dealing with the corruption, but I'm sure we can eventually conquer it. And uh, have a nice uh, healthy world where we can place our NPCs all around the map without having to worry about them uh, and make them happy, you know? Build them some nice houses. Now, I do still need to fight the lunatic cultist. I think I've stalled long enough. However, we don't have enough time in this episode, so I'm pretty sure that's uh, what's going to be happening in the next episode. I know I've said that like three times already, but. This time for real? Okay. Seems like something is starting to spawn there. Do I have a gravity potion on me? I do. So let's get up there. And see what exactly we created. I mean, I'm having a little bit of a suspicion what it might be. Okay, so what are we looking at? Grass. A vicious mushroom, okay. That seems to be about it. Oh, you know, that thing kind of looks like that... Uh, what do you call it? The grass we found underground. Not too sure where that was though. But yeah, my suspicion is that this is uh, the alternative to corruption. And this is just a way to get it. Which is cool, I suppose. We can just let it grow here. It, uh, it shouldn't be able to spread since it isn't touching anything. And we'll have like a micro bloody grass biome, whatever it's called. I think it was crimson, the, the seeds. So, now that this is done... Oh! What is it attacking? Just 
it must be harpies. Now that this is done, we have two options. I can either start clearing up some more corruption, like on this side, which I think sounds kinda good. Or we can do some extra prep for the cultist and start moving things over. Well, I think we should probably do that in the next episode. So let's uh, get the Clentaminator some more green solution. Where is my magic mirror? Uh, huh. Well then. Oh, there it is. Okay. How, how did it go there? What was here? Oh, that was the seeds, right? Yeah, there we go. Get the bug net. So, let's uh, head back home. And, oh. Wet beard. Hello. He seems friendly. Stay off me booty, you scallywag. Are you happy? Too many land lovers. Okay. So, what is he selling? A cannon. Okay. Cannon bows. Pirate uh, vanity items. A sail. Very interesting. And a bunny cannon. Okay, well, that's cool, I suppose, but I don't really have a ship to put the cannon on. Maybe it's useful for something else, but I guess we have a pirate with us now, so that's that's cool. I did not get the message that he arrived, or maybe I just missed it, but what is this? A sailor shirt. Must have missed it. Anyway, I'm getting a bit off topic. Let me just check how much time I have. Yeah, okay, we have like a few more minutes. So let's get that green solution. Start digging a hole over in the frost biome so I can cleanse it once and for all. Give me a bunch of this. Thank you. And the contaminator is already on me. So let's head over to the frozen biome. I do still need to do a wave event there so I can farm the ice key. See what that gives me, but I suppose we can do that after I'm done with the cultist. I'm kinda wondering what my next achievement will be. I've been on the cultist one for quite a long time. So I guess that uh, might give me some more ideas for what to do. I'm not sure how many bosses uh, are left in the game. But uh, since it feels like I mostly have the best stuff I could find, maybe I'm getting close to it, so we'll see. Maybe that uh, expert mode is not uh, that far off if I decide to do it. I still have not uh, found another game that I'm really too interested in recording, so maybe it will end up being an expert mode Terraria. Okay. I'm just not sure how much interest there will be in that, since I already did the normal mode one. Turn on the smart cursor, and we're going straight down. Which of course means I'm gonna be drowning. I nicely should move a bunch of the water away. Right next to the next place I'm digging into. Nice, nice. Hopefully we stumble upon a cavern. To be honest, I'm not seeing much corruption here, which is... Surprising, since that uh, large uh, piece of corruption on top. Okay, let me just breathe a bit. Has been there for quite a while, like this thing. I guess it just hasn't managed to spread to anything. I guess this is deep enough. Let me get back up. And we'll do our quick uh, Clentaminator maneuver. Let's start with cleansing the above ground. There we go. We should be good here now. Those sunflowers did their job holding off on the corruption until now, but they can rest now. So I just have to exhaust my wings. Like so. Once I do, I just glide down and spray in one direction. And that pretty much uncovers the map and takes care of any potential corruption. Honestly, just uh, the uncovering the map part of this weapon is kind of busted. But I guess not really a weapon, a tool more like. Okay, it's really nice. 
So now I just need to get back up. You do one more descent. And then I just need to do a little bit of maintenance on that. Uh, oh, God damn it. On that other side. There we go. Uh, to make sure that corruption isn't spreading too far and ruining my work. And then next time around, we'll be able to get another update from the Dryad. The state of corruption in our world. Maybe I'll get an update uh, for the Crimson now as well. Alright, let me not stay in water while looking at the map. That's a recipe for disaster. Still don't know if uh, drowning just insta kills you. Or if it's like a damage ticks sort of thing. Okay, we have some corruption over here. Let's get rid of it. There we go. That should be taken care of. And why am I uncovering this? What is going on? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay. It's those things. I still don't know what the point of them is. They're so slow. Can't really hurt you. There we go. Now there is this thing still that looks really suspicious. It's like, like a ghost with some sort of spectral wings and like a sight. I, I just... It, it looks a bit too suspicious, I wanna check it, so... It should be straight down from here. Let's dig down. And see what exactly it is. It's probably nothing. Just a random formation, but... You know. Yeah, seems like it. Just a random formation. Quite a, a weird one though, I gotta say. Oh, the wing... Oh, it's, it's a banner, I was about to say. The the wings were formed by meteors trying to catch me. That's interesting. Okay, let's... Uh, so this part should be corrupted, that's fine. However, it is spreading a bit too aggressively over here, but... I guess it's not too spread yet, I guess... Yeah, I should be able to ignore it. So, in that case, with the pirate invasion done, uh, we should be good to end the episode here, so hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you next time when we'll be fighting the Lunatic Cultist. See you then.